Two Forks Tower. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. But maybe you just really like trees. Maybe it's... Gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish. A tree fetish. Good night. <laughs> good night. Welcome to the job. Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus. I guess it's what, 6? Six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Seriously, are you seeing this? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. Shut up. guys how's it going so uh yeah i didn't really want to speak too much because uh i wanted the uh game to kind of bring in its own little welcome in as you would say i don't know but yeah welcome to firewatch uh it's a game that i've been wanting to play for a while now Fun fact, when I was younger, uh, when I was a kid, this was like a dream job for me, and I think it probably still is. I'd love to um, have... I'd, I've always wanted to live in the watchtower. Oh, a little bit tired today. It's a bit of a late one. 
So we're going to go stop these fireworks from happening. Hopefully the audio is not too bad. I'm hoping it's not. And hopefully you guys can hear me. If not, I'll probably have to throw the audio up a bit. But hopefully it's not too bad. But yeah. But I'm probably not going to speak too much in this one. Not as much as I usually do. Just because... It's a type of game that I think we can enjoy the story. Take a time with it and just enjoy it with me. And hopefully you guys are having a good time. But yeah, it's uh, definitely something I want to start doing. I want to start playing some more relaxing games if you get adrift. You know, more story based games because there's a lot out there that I've always been curious about. So it's one. Two, three, four. There we go. Let's get the rope. We've got the rope. Write down what we need. Well, we can update our map. What's this say? Read. Ron. Hey, man. Guys, I can't take it so... Wait, what? Hey, man. Guy? Can't take it so I locked up his lock out and put some stuff in the box. Found one of these bars you liked hiking into the park. But let's get beep when I'm back. Dave. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't write that. I promise you that now. Terrible. Terrible language. Wait, did I just take... Oh, oh dear. Uh, um, do I just put it back? I want to put it back in there. I'm sorry mate, I keep I guess I'll keep it then. Uh bar. We'll keep this and then yeah. I guess. Examine. It's a fruit bar. Jerry and almond. Roll bar. Nice. Right, okay. I'll take it. Might as well eat it. There we go. That should do. Now let's go stop these guys. What was that? But this is another thing as well. I've never played this game before, but it's like the perfect game for me. As I said, I do secretly like games like this, even though I play a lot of like horror or scary or gory games. Some of my favourite games are very story driven. There is a game, well, a few games I've played, which are so intense, so beautiful, which I found in love with them. This, um, one of them I can tell you the name of. They're both story based, and I just fell in love with what it was, and I was like, this is. This is my kind of thing, and I thought, you know what? Why not do some recording of some games like this? So, I thought to start off with this. Hopefully, you guys will like it. Okay. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. It should be called Cripple Gulch, just east of gonna pee in a bag forever flats. Oh, is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? Uh, it's actually English for not in my job description. How do you expect me to get down this? <laughs> well, did you get that rope? Yeah, I got it. Okay, just lash it to something nearby and take it slow. Nope. 
no, no, no! I feel like that was really dramatic, but I feel like that would potentially hurt. I'm on the right track. Ow. You best hurry up because it's getting dark and I want to get back before. Go this way. We'll go around. It should be alright. Hopefully, we might come across something. Maybe. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our. Uh pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. Ugh, people are just the worst, aren't they? They're not great, no. I might as well clean up while I'm here. It is my job. That is another thing. She never let her, especially in a place like this. It's just pointless. I will find a bin and make one. It's just pure laziness. It's always good to make at least some effort. Oh, the backpacks. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Wait a second, guys. There's music playing. I'm gonna turn that down. Oh look, they decided to have a campfire too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Oh shit, ferret or Irish. You know what, fuck it, I'm not the maid. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> nah, nah, we gotta clean up. It's always good to clean up. We have to clean up. It's our job. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Don't worry, I have. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Oh. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Okay, looks like the music's gonna be a little bit loud, so... Yeah... Hopefully it's not too loud. Uh, there are, uh... Panties? There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? There's a... Ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know... Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. <laughs> Enjoy dealing with that. Full stereo! Whoa, hey, put that down. Seriously, it was expensive. Fucking 
cool it with the fireworks. Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. This guy's creepy, Chelsea. <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick. Chelsea, it's my boombox. Can we go? L let's just run to the other side of the lake or something. Oh, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Hey, that go okay? Who's a sad man now? It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Right, I need to get back because... It's getting really dark, quick. So, let's go back. But there's something about this game, obviously. I don't know anything about this game. I haven't played it myself. First time. The thing is, already, I feel like... I, I completely forgot to even mention the start of the story. Obviously, a guy here... He's been through a bit with his partner who had early set dementia, which is not a nice thing, and I have seen it firsthand, which is it's a heartbreaking experience to see, especially when someone's so young, but um, yeah, uh, I feel like there's something a little bit sinister with this. The whole time I've played this, I feel like I'm getting watched. Especially now, more than ever. Not by those two. But I feel like someone's been watching me. I don't know why, I've always had this feeling in <laughs> games, or even in real life. You can always kind of tell. You know, when someone's like, always got their eye on you. But we'll see. Oh no, is that it seems to have gone darker quicker. So... I'm massively concerned, but there's a high chance I might have to move a bit quicker. I don't know if this is... So, I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about... Uh, while you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Hey, uh, I can see my tower. How do I get back? If it's the one I think it is, there should be an old trail the Forest Service closed off a couple years back. And I'm sure their reasons for closing it off had nothing to do with safety, right? Oh, it washed out and became a fucking death trap. So, you know, be careful. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Um, but yeah, I don't know why. I feel like... Someone is following me. I don't know why, I just feel like... I'm about 80% sure that someone is watching me. Oh dear. Okay, here comes the storm. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so... I'm safe. It's not gonna strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? That went really dark quick. This seems to be quite an intense story so far. Might as well take what there is here. It might be useful. Um, wow, the storm's really good. Update my map, let's go. 
good to update. At least I know where I'm at at all the times. Oh. Ah! That's good. Oh, a cave. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! Hello? This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. That storm is really coming in. We need to get going. We shouldn't be too far now. Okay, I truly feel like someone's watching me. Where are they? I know someone is around. I feel it. I could be going crazy, I don't know. But I just feel like there's some... There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Flashlight on my face. But as I said, I can always tell when someone's watching me. I don't know why, it's just kind of got a feeling. I'm getting drift. I don't know if you guys have ever felt that, but it is weird though. Especially when the game starts feeling a bit too weird. Oh, that's one now, we'll keep going. My guy is built like a beast. isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns, anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Uh... 
What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. What the hell? Now the music's getting intense. Bass. Let me bring out the bass in my ears. That's when you know it's getting intense. What's, what's, what's going on? Oh, hell no. Nah. What? Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. The place is trashed. I'm gonna have to fix the window. Tomorrow, Henry, you won't be cold. I can't believe this shit. Okay, I put in a call. Well, what can they do about it? W will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii 5 0. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. I mean, anything would help. I would not feel safe. After that, you would be like, whoa. Nah. What is this? Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake. Hey, wake up! I'm here, I'm here. I'm awake, I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger, and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay. All right. Well, that was a little bit intense, but I guess we're gonna have to go. Even though after what happens, we don't feel safe, but we're gonna have to do it either way. Flashlight's working. We're gonna have to be quick. Get this out the way because I don't know. This is just weird. Now I'm starting to think that this game might be turned into something else if you get my drift. And go back the way I came, I guess. No one's in there, so that's good. That would hurt my feet. Hell, even this one.
Whoa, that's way, way. That's way, way down. Let's get going. Let's get rolling. The quicker we get down, the quicker we can get it all done. We'll be back before nightfall again because, quite frankly, I feel uncomfortable being out in the dark, you know. So, we best get a move on at this point. All this jumping for a beast of this. I'm not gonna lie, this is a uh, turned into something I didn't think it was gonna be. Oh, cool. there we go. So the sun's came, obviously, and it's data. These trees might have fell down because they're still not snowy. No, no, that was that already. I think she said something about flash forward or something. But... Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know. Just used to spend a lot of time with our dog, Mayhem. Mayhem? What kind of name is that? He was a German Shepherd, big as a truck. So why not call him Chevy? Well, we uh, we walked out of the shelter and there was some graffiti on a trash can and it said, Dicko Mayhem. And um, he walked over and peed all over it and there you go. <laughs> That's a really cute story. It is what it is. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Uh, hey, your button is still down. I'm absolutely sure. <sighs> Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, I, I thought about it, and that story is cute, and, um... Sorry, but but you said we? You, you owned him with someone? Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Oh, dear. Uh... Oh, sorry. What? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess I... I hope I'm going the right way. If I just follow the power lines, I should be alright. But, yeah, I'm gonna mess up. He seems to be quite anxious, isn't he? This guy is very, I mean, I get it, he's been for quite a lot, but I don't think he needs to be so aggressive. I mean,. He's just simply asking a question. She did kind of get a little bit peed off quickly. Okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot. For a second time. No, it's alright, I don't know. What was this? Wait, what was that? What was that? How do I get that up? How do I... How do I... I, I don't know. I forgot. 
forgot to read it. I'll try and figure it out though. But I'll follow these power lines and see where it takes me. Because I need a oh maybe that it's quite high up so maybe we might be able to get that. I think it might be because of the storm, that's why the power's gone. someone here again. I can ha I have that feeling again. If she's not picking up because she's in a shitty. This does not help. I need information because I don't know where I'm going. I feel like I could be going the wrong way. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Yeah, I think I might have pissed her off a little bit. Kind of feel bad. I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Okay, so they have screwed with something up here. They've been drinking. I don't know if it's that guy who's following, but I feel like he's watching me as well. I don't think he's gone anywhere. He's still around. I can feel it, but... We'll see what happens. But they're probably somewhere about as well. I've got pins and needles. That really hurts. I keep pulling up after these idiots. Oh no. They have messed with it. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm. I don't know. Um... Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. I'll find him. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Right, so it is the girls. Wait, so the girls are the ones who are in my apartment. Well, not my apartment. The area I was. I mean, how much do they drink? <coughs> ah, dry throat. What can I say? Oh boy. This is going to get really out of hand. I mean, it's probably best if I just scare them off. I mean, I'm just a lookout. I'm not a officer of the law. I don't have any handcuffs or 
a cell, I can place them in or anything like that. So the best bet is just to shoot them off the land itself. But we'll see. Hopefully I will come across them. a big drop. I've got two locations I can take. I don't know which way. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. There is no way. There is no way that's a person's name. Brian Good wins. Brian Good wins. There's no way. So, this is a weird coincidence. So, uh, I'm actually related, in, in real life, related to Goodwins. That's really, really weird. That's how I found out I was related to uh, Mary Shelley, the person behind, um, what is it, uh, Frankenstein? Her father is William Goodwin, and because I did like a quick little background check on my family history, if you guys have ever done that before, which is, you know, quite interesting. You find some really cool stuff you do, you know, the basic stuff. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, yeah, wait, Goodwin. who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? So, she's... okay with me now? Which is good, I'm happy about that. It's nice to be able to communicate, or at least speak to someone when I'm out here. Let's see what we've got. Okay, let's copy the map. Okay, so we've got the lake. Alright. What's in here? Is that a... Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a... Put that back in there, that is... Way cool. Velociraptor claw. Now the question is, am I going the right way? What is that? I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A 
A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. I don't know about the girls, but I think the girls are... They're either over there, but they're nowhere around me. Wait, could that be who it is? Who's following me, this Brian Goodwin? But yeah, it's, it's really, it's really crazy actually to think that. Yeah, so I looked into my family history because my mother told me about that I was related to. Hey, oh, shit. sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I'm actually married. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. That got intense again. Whoa. Yeah, that's fresh. But as I was saying, I did like a... My mother told me about this. I'm having a hell of a time getting oh, this fucking goodness. flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! I guess... Flapjack is, but as I keep trying to say, but she keeps randomly saying stuff. But anyways, my mother told me that I was related to a poet of some sort. I was like, alright, and she told me the name. And then, I was like, okay. And his name's called William Goodwin. No, not William Goodwin. Um, no, William Goodwin's Mary Shelley's father here, that's one. I'm related to Percy Shelley, as well. I know. Let that, let that, let that sink in. Go open that, do go open that door and let that sink in. So, I was related to Mary Shelley. And Percy Shelley. And obviously they had a romance, which is kind of weird. Yeah, pretty. Pretty strange when you think about it, but it's just really cool to hear yeah. the word, the name, yeah. you know, Goodwin, because it's a really old name. It's, um, I'm trying to think, is it? I can't remember if it's Irish or. I don't know. I don't think I've ever looked into it. I know my my main name, my last main name, which you guys, I don't think you'll really even know. It's Irish, but obviously everyone calls me Dave Lad, so I'll just go by Dave Lad. Um, did your wife's illness have anything to do with you taking this job, or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Actually, I went looking for the job. I just wanted to get out of town for a while. You've come to the right place. Thanks to last summer, we got a bump in forest service budget and can actually afford to have you. What happened last summer that accounted for this, um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, 
The federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. What do you think they're keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? Oh, geez, so many things. Should I just stop you now? Maybe loads of hedgehogs. Okay. Thousands even, full percentage points of the global hedgehog population. Uh-huh. The New Zealand government is, is up in arms. Where are all the hedgehogs? Well, folks are hiding them all in Wyoming. That's where they are. Who would do that and why? Ha-ha. <laughs> that is the real mystery. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the high-quality information. Okay, okay. I'll ask what's up if I talk to someone in the next few days who I think might know. So I messed up, as you can probably tell. I ended up going the wrong way. Those dogs laughing at me because I went the wrong way? It's not that funny, is it? Maybe, potentially. But, uh... Yeah, it's good. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. Just like she just went now. Now, I didn't think that I'd have to come back through here, but I, it's over here, but I'm trying to figure out how to get there. I'm really confused. How do I get there? I went the wrong way before, and now I've completely gone the wrong way. Here. I hope this is the right one. This is gone longer than I thought it would be. I, mean, I thought it'd be a quick about but no, because they just had to be so far away. The one thing I'm curious is how the heck did they get to this location so quickly? Without any rope or anything, hiking gear. Whatsoever. Like, that's one thing I'm curious about. Because, you know, it's kind of weird. I mean, they have backpacks, but 
There's no rope or whatsoever. In the smokes over there. I hope I'm in the right place. This map is bigger than I thought it would be. Which I guess is a good thing. More, more to do. Um, three, four. Here we go. Let's see what the one is. Update my map. And yeah, there we go. Um, thank you. Missing person. Thirty-one, six foot two. Check on her. Okay. What did he go missing? Oh, okay. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area, the thoroughfare, because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. That's probably what I'd like. Hey, hang on a second. I would love to stay in the tower. But for some reason, you keep sending me on these wild goose chases. Which keep taking me to places. Which leave me concerned. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Site and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like. So it was that. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. I guess that is a thing. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Whoa. Which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Um, how do I take a picture again? Oh, I can... Oh, that makes it a lot easier. No, I don't need that. I need... No. Can't 
camera. I don't know what that is. That should be enough. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Well, the first thing it says, dear psycho, that's all I can read. Oh, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Dear Psycho, I hope you are effing happy we are leaving and we are going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped. You creeped on us in the lake and then came destroyed our camp and all our stuff oh and stealing what paintings is growth panties is growth it's out you're probably mentally effing axe murderer and so going to jail the English spelling in this is pretty stra strange for me. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Dick. Okay. I mean, it wasn't my fault. Just do my job. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But, um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah. Well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. I have a thick beard. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Okay. Your eyes, tell me. Um... They look tired, I think. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Okay. I wonder if I can actually have a day where I get to enjoy being here. And just, you know, have a nice evening to myself. Yeah. We can make some food. You know, have a chill out. Do some writing for once. Yo. Pull that there. I don't. I don't really drink. Oh. Oh, there he is. Happy. He kind of actually looks like me a little bit, I'm not going to lie. With the beard, I think my beard's a little bit longer. Just a little bit more. And I've got longer hair. But yeah. He looks happy. It's a shame. Sometimes, the older you get, you might lose your smile here and there. Well, it is what it is. Um, there's nothing really much I can do, I guess. Oh, what's this? Um, just throw it there. I think it's coming to the end of this episode, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, so I think that's it for now. I'll see you guys soon, okay?